Okay, being a southern boy, I grew up eating a lot of okra, uh, mostly fried okra. Love it fried. Uh, stewed tomatoes and okra is really good. Like that okra and gumbo. Uh, I don't like boiled okra though, because that stuff's just slimy. I can't bring myself to eat something that looks like that. Uh, but anyway, at the market today, I found some okra. It's starting to get a little bit of black on it, but that's fine. It's not hurt or anything like that. Uh, and it got me to thinking about when I was in Pakistan. I, uh, they served a dish over there that I really liked, and it's they call it, I don't remember exactly what they called it, but anyway, it was like a curry flavored dish, but okra and tomatoes, so it was kind of like, uh, you know, I, it kind of reminded me of home, you know, okra and tomatoes, but at the same time, it tasted a lot different, but I did like it. Anyway, I've got a purple onion here. I'll slice this up. I want some thin slices. Probably not going to use all of that. Probably wind up using about half of it. Got a couple tomatoes. And we'll cut these in half. Everything's going to be kind of big pieces. Anyway, be back with you in a second. Well, I'm only going to use one of my tomatoes, so we'll set that guy there aside. We'll use him later for something. Now, we're going to take our okra. We're going to trim the ends off of them. And I want pieces about that long, so that's going to be fine, just like it is. Now, this guy is a little bit longer, but I wouldn't buy any okra longer than that. I just don't like the real long ones. It gets tough. I'm going to cut that, kind of making it all easy to cook. At the same time... Anyway, you get the idea. Okay, everything's cut up and ready. I've got about two tablespoons of oil heating up on my stove. We're going to put in half a tablespoon of cumin seed. We want these things to start popping. I guess that oil wasn't as hot as I thought it was. Now, there you go. See, it's starting to pop a little bit. Now we've got half a tablespoon of garlic and ginger. Or half a tablespoon of each. Put that in there. And we're going to put our onions in. cook this until our onions get a little bit soft. Okay, that took about a minute and a half. I'm going to dump our okra in. And we're going to cook this for a little bit just to kind of char the outside of the okra a little bit. That'll help keep it from being sticky. Okay, that's going to take care of that. That's been cooking for a couple minutes. Now we're going to put our tomato in here. Got some cayenne pepper. Get about uh, half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of turmeric. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Oh, and my garlic and ginger, I put a teaspoon of that, not a half a teaspoon. I'm going to give us a mix. And we're going to turn our heat down to medium. Cover that and we'll let that cook for about five minutes. Been cooking for about two minutes. Let's see how it's doing. It's starting to bubble a little bit. Give 
give this a mix. We're gonna cook that some more. Okay, this has been cook, cook, cooking covered for about five minutes. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cook this until it kind of dries out. You turn the heat back up, and then whenever that dries dries out a little bit, we'll be done. And to that important question, how does it taste? Hmm, that's good.